Hey guys, Color Farty's back for more Papa Travels for Time. Almost forgot about the name of the game right there. And I brought Marty to do this again. Hi guys. Can you hear it at all? Um, I can hear a little bit, but can you turn up the volume a little more? Sure. Beautiful. I can hear the song. Awesome. And I can still hear you, so that works. Awesome. Alright, so backstory. I was trying to basically make save files in the game of... Uh, just of all the different paths to take. Oh my gosh! I did, I literally restarted the game at least 200 times. The calculator never once appeared anywhere besides the future or the medieval times. It was ridiculous. So I finally had to pull this out. It's scum VM, debug menu, room 55, and we can set the path. So. Calculator in Dino Land, that's fine. History report in the medieval area, that's fine. Lunchbox was already in the future, and Pep was in the Old West, so I guess we'll just swap them out. And Toby needed the rope last time, so we'll make him need the firewood this time. And yeah, that looks good. And all of Puppet's stuff is still out here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that <laughs> happens, it just does. It doesn't affect the, cold, uh, the game. Yeah, I won't break it, that's good. <laughs> also... Stuff can, like, clip over the smoking and fire engine lunchbox. Okay. <laughs> the boomerang took out a chunk of it. But, yeah. So, do you really care about seeing all the plot? Because everyone's already seen it before. I don't. You don't? Okay. I've already seen it. It's him! <laughs> it's him. <laughs> You're smiling! So creepily! <laughs> <laughs> like, if you look at the front of it, it looks like he's just creepily smiling the whole time. A little bit, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. Did you know that, Sonny? Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, uh, I might pause it a few moments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. This is one of the few games that I didn't beat until, like, last year. <laughs> <laughs> He's still kind of happy about it. Oh, yeah. You be careful, Putt Putt, and good luck! Alright, so finally, the calculator has made it to the dino area at last. Yes, after hearing you rage for like an hour, I'm very Oh my happy. gosh, I was so mad, because either, okay, either our copy of the game is completely broken, or I have literally the worst luck the history of the world has ever known, as far as random number generator goes. Because it was at least 200 times that I tried resetting it. Never once was it in the few was it uh, in the Wild West or the Dino area. But enough of my ranting aside. <laughs> Freddy and Woofer. You know which one I'm trying to get, right? Yes, I do. At least okay. I have a guess. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> Not him, not, not Stinky him. Pete. <laughs> nice. I'm really hoping you weren't trying to get that horse. <laughs> Spy Fox had so many cameos before he even got his own game. It's awesome. I know. Here goes. So, when did this game come out? This was 96. Oh, wow. So, a year I was born. And I was totally not born. Yep. Oh yeah, what color should we make Pup Pup first of all? Oh jeez. Because this one, you also have the different shades of colors as well. You do? Oh. I just want to change my color, lady. So, first off, what color? Oh man, you know what? I think Pup Pup needs to be blue. Blue? I, I think was that blue needs last to happen. time. Oh, maybe, maybe green. Green? I like green. Put Put seems like the kind of guy that could pull off green. What shade? Darker, lighter, or that? I didn't know you could pick the different shades. Lighter green. Lighter green. He's a All light right. green kind of guy. Scanning process initiated. Wow, I learned something new today. <laughs> you didn't know you could change the. No, shade? I didn't. I just this thought is the only you just game picked you can it. Do that. Well, it's there because it's, it's the future. So. Oh, not a fan of her. Hey, you're back with cool virtual reality radio where 
closer than your dial. That's weird. Oh, uh, okay. okay. The Jeez. Mouse store is holding a fabulous sale on gadgets and gizmos from now until Sunday. Stock up on batteries for those everyday needs now. But I thought everything was free in the future. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The, doesn't the the radio changes depending on where you are? Yeah. That's right. Because the Wild West is hilarious. No, no, the, the Dino area is hilarious. Where it's like, welcome to Dino Radio. All oldies, all time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I never did the story area. I literally did not explore the future at all in my last playthrough because I'm like, oh, shoot, it's gonna have a wall, gotta finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all your books? My, my, you They burned them all. Haven't you ever heard of Fahrenheit 451? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it would save space, Free but... bird autobiography. <laughs> the Great Gas Beam. <laughs> the Great Gas Beam. 1984 time. 84 by 4. <laughs> wow. Oh, man, these are great. Oh no, Mr. Firebird, the autobiography. I do not want to the read pig. that. The pig. <laughs> <laughs> the sneaky pig. Oh, sneaky pig. Sneaky he looks pig. like a hamburger. Yes, he does. He was um uh, orange truffles. <laughs> yeah, he looks like barf. <laughs> he <laughs> really does. Pet yak. Yes. You know he has a pet yak. Oh, definitely. The sneaky pig was hungry. He ate three orange truffles. His pet yak ate the scraps. Are you kidding me? That pig's not leaving any scraps. Mm -mm. The hero. The manatee found the missing later hosen. <laughs> now all the beavers, beavers. beavers are happy. Is that spaghetti <laughs> they're throwing? <laughs> <laughs> Those beavers do look happy. The penguins. penguins. <laughs> <laughs> cried when their instruments turned into pizza. Uh, I, I, I would not pizza. be crying about that. <laughs> but they laughed when the audience turned into seagulls. <laughs> that, that is pretty funny. That's awesome. Look, that goat just jumped off of the curly slide. Hope he lands in the pile of ice cream. <laughs> the lion is carrying a telescope. And a dachshund. He's balancing a basket on his head. Wow. You're a lion. The scale, which weighs more? A pound of cat food or a pound of waffles? Susie writes the answer with banana. <laughs> <laughs> or a spatula. That's funny. Susie, I don't know what, where you were in school, but uh, you do not write with a spatula. <laughs> I love the face she's like, she's like, she's like mm, I don't know. This is really hard. <laughs> Mr. Bear combs his hair with a donut. Definitely. <laughs> he brushes his teeth with a bacon strip. And then he washes his hands with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what a gross bear. <laughs> Yikes, the elephant is trying to ski on butter knives on a mountain of butter. Look out for the uh, gophers. <laughs> <laughs> The vampire. The vampire has piano keys instead of fame. Yeah. He finds friends, the were warthog and the mummy python. And His I teeth! Find His teeth! <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> Mushrooms. I like piano keys. The piano best. keys are best. <laughs> Sam sleeps all snug in his salad bowl and covered in cozy fat no fruit. Definitely fruit. He drinks his socks are all dancing. <laughs> wow. Man, a lot of pajama sand foreshadowing. I totally I've, forgot about Okay, that. I've never done that before. You've never done the virtual books before? Apparently I didn't really oh, explore the that's future either. Alright. Did you make homemade uh, food? Yeah, I did that. that. Alright. Well sometimes don't you have to do it for one of the paths? Oh yeah, that's true. Well, all right then. Is that supposed to be a turtle? Because he looks like he has a bit of a duck head. I don't know. Yes, we will explore the, that other area. Oh wait, shoot, we totally forgot to explore the museum. There'd be a problem. Or actually, Pep is in the future, never mind. Let's go. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact. The pre-programmed curator. Yeah, your name is Artifact. I know, it's funny. 
one ancient toasting device, circa it's the, 1989. <laughs> it's the trumpet from the beginning of the game. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of them. Or Fatty Bear. <laughs> yes. It's not Fatty Bear. No, I said I'm waiting for one of them to be Fatty Bear. I'm, I haven't found Fatty Bear. Wait a second. Do you recognize that? Yes. One uh, Yeah, uh, we'll get more into that once we get to Pup Enters the Race, which is the next Pup game. At least of the Junior Adventures. Wow. Oh. I you, remember this. You remember this? Because it took me forever hey, to get it there. This is. <laughs> now, how am I going to get you? <laughs> Don't you? Worry, uh, boy. Yeah, this is not good design. It's literally all trial and error. Yep. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I was trying to pause it there. All right, you made it further. All right, then it's yellow. Or no, it's red, actually. So, red. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That'll be the thumbnail. Jeez. <laughs> All right. So then it's red. Do they just then alternate? it's yellow. Nope. No, it's not. Yeah, see what I mean? This is just bad difficulty. There's no okay. way to tell. Did I push red last time? No, you pressed yellow. Then it's yellow. But move, mouse. And then yellow. Move, mousey, mousey. Go on. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah. See, so like the game is very different from my last playthrough. You'll notice. Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox, my calculator, and my history report, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. And uh, have you done this mini game before? Yes. I love the music. I am making this lemmings music. Oh, there you go. That would work. It's really catchy, so... It is. No, I have, like, memories of playing this as a kid. Mm -hmm. It's the Time Continuum song. It is! You're right! Which is the Popeye, uh, travels through time area. Oh, okay, well... Now it's... Alien, come All on! Right, we I got this! Do do always been one, two, three, four. Your steps to through into places in time where you'll that's, that's where, where you'll, you'll find Pep up. and my homework. So you claim you don't like that song, but it's, it's great. quotable. It's very quotable. I'd say it's one of the least quotable songs. I'd say it's one of the best ones, though. All right. Apparently, the balls just refuses to go anywhere, so that's fine. Also, when I did Puppet Saves the Zoo, I did a lot of the air hockey game. Or just hockey yes, game. Yes, you really did. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hockey game. I can't help it. Okay, I remember when we when I played it originally as a kid, I couldn't go back to the game after playing it. Because, like, I think I think our computer booted it out. No, 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 you out. can only go back after someone scores. Oh. KTFR, I'm <laughs> of choice. Okay. <laughs> Gold's been reported seen in them there hills and rivers of Tire Flat. For KTF <laughs> Apparently he's everywhere on the radio. <laughs> well, I mean, radio... Radio... Did radio exist back then? You know who's seen in that? The horse. Get ready for rodeo. Hey, all you... This is a case. Get ready for rodeo. Hey, yeah. Gold's been reported... He's a one-horse show, apparently. For KTF How do you do, little buddy? He's got a great singing voice. Yes, he does. All right. General store, yeehaw. All right. I was waiting for that guy to get red overalls, but... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been perfect moment. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, honestly. Mm -hmm. Hey, Toby. Oh, man. He does not look happy. Oh, well, never mind. He's out of oil. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of firewood. Can't firewood. <laughs> How's about keeping those eagle eyes of yours open and locating me some? I'd be happy to. Yeah. Wait, do you get paid for helping him? Uh, yeah. You get paid Okay, for so here's my wonder. If you took that, because that's from the past, and then you took the money to the future, <laughs> or back to the time, it would be worth less. more or less. <laughs> 
I guess that 10, it depends. And with inflation, 5 cents would not be worth as much, but it's an old coin, so if you can find someone who's willing to pay more for it, it could be worth more. Okay. I bet you could get more than a chewy fruity wagon wheel off of it, though. Yeah. Way to pick lemon. Lemon is a great flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's tons yellow, you'll notice. Hey, yeah! Yellow that's, and that's green, nice wow. That's nice attention to detail. Yeah, it's funny, every time you oil Toby, uh, he gives you a nickel. Oh, wow. It's a square rock. That's a rectangle, not a square. Get your shapes right. Yeah, come on. I love the medieval music, I'm just gonna say. I do like it. Especially this music right here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Excuse me. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Alright. <laughs> nice shooting. Oh my goodness gracious mm -hmm. sakes. Yeah, we're skipping a lot just because you've already seen this in the first video once it goes wow, up. This yeah. Is some castle. Yes, it is. Only the rain that rusted the gate shut. That's a bad castle design. One little rain rusts the whole gate shut so you literally can't get in or out. <laughs> That's terrible design. That is bad. I'm the happy bard, Max Wellington. Oh boy. To play the lute. I once thought of being a piper. But I cannot play the flute. Damn. <laughs> wow. Lute solo. Rocked it. <laughs> He's reading your history report aloud. Um, I mean, I'm sure that's great, but... <laughs> Because Papa wrote his history report about something that happened after the Middle Ages, so he's like, ooh, it's a science fiction novel. <laughs> oh, okay. Ridiculous. History is something that happened in the past. To the children of the kingdom, they would be so very disappointed to miss story time. You could read it to them and then give it back to me. Ah, uh, but it is so interesting. I want to read it every day. Really, dude? <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many. How about you just there? copy my history report and read it to them? That would be plagiarism. <laughs> 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 About a lion. Oh, he wants a story about a lion. Guess we're telling him the story about the lion who had the cheese log in one hand <laughs> and the bouncy in the uh, basket on his head. It's too short. He needs a I longer don't care. story. <laughs> he can read it more. It's it will be the greatest story ever told. Take that, the Bible. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> actually, don't take that. I actually am a big fan of the Bible personally. Yeah. The lion. Okay. We need to make it better. We need to watermelon. Make really good. Watermelon. Watermelon. Right. Dachshund. Cheese. Bagpipe. Log, giant pickle. <laughs> oh, bagpipe. And he has a chair on his head. head. <laughs> please make this to into a book, dude. This will be a bestseller. Yes, please. 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 Certainly, Pot Pot. Which one do you want? This one. You mean the one that's carrying the, the bagpipes? <laughs> that's my thing. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Gimme. Yeah, I didn't even think the people in the future like red books. They don't. That's yeah. why I'm the only one here. Oh. <laughs> also, then again, there's really nobody in the future. There's like the people who run their shops, but that's literally it. This is the whole future. Just this. Uh, Tiny. lovely. This is what you have to look forward to, kids. Love this music. I'm not gonna visit Merlin, personally. He yeah. caused me too much grief by always having my calculator uh. during those replays. <laughs> yes. Hot, hot is your history report. Thanks for giving me back what is legally mine, dude, in exchange for something <laughs> new. Way to go! <laughs> He's a dictator! <laughs> I should throw that rec uh, that rectangular so rock at him. Can close the time mm. I shall begin. <laughs> a lion is carrying a watermelon and a bag. Okay, how many how many subjects do you think are in this kingdom? That was a fine story. <laughs> That's like, not a story. <laughs> That's not a story. That's barely a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I've never read a story with so much intrigue and plot twists as this one. 
<laughs> that says something about Puppet's history report. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. Oh, thanks, dude. Does that mean all the money you make, I make? Bad amazing. Also, he has a freaking pet dragon. That is awesome. Pet dragons would be cool. Such a helpful little fellow. Would you like some? It would be an honor. Okay, I love it. It's like Woodward's like spent the whole day taking some firewood back. He even got like hurt doing it. Papa takes all of it. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to make a suit of armor now, Put Put? <laughs> oh man. I love that guy's accent, know. by the way. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Toby. Video games can't have good accents. Never said they couldn't. If it isn't my trailblazing junior conductor. Did you yeah, dude. I was trying to give you firewood and you wouldn't Toby, accept it. Here's the firewood. Thanks, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you do not have a Spanish accent at all. Yeah, well. Yes, sir, Bob. Oh. My. Fine. Gosh. What? I just made a connection, and I'll tell you about it when we do Pajama Sam 1. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say, do you recognize any of Toby B's parts in the mine area? In the mine area? In the mine area. There's some parts that look very similar to Toby's, like wheels and axles and stuff. Oh. Oh, yeah. Give me another nickel, dude. You're right! <laughs> Alright. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take? Gold River, here we come. He's using my lunchbox! Dude! Oh, my lunch was in there! <laughs> was. <laughs> was, <laughs> yeah. That guy has a good mustache, though. Yeah, he does. This guy's basically Stinky Pete in car form. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, that is exactly what I said. Oh, we we are going to have to talk to Merlin actually. Great. Because we have to have him make gold for that guy. Don't hold a grudge against him. <laughs> Could you literally have gone any farther, but <laughs> well, let's go to the Dino area. I'm quite an expert at getting past the dinosaur now. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Ms. B. No. Oh. Hello. Oh. I'm full speed ahead. Oh. We could use some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, please. Yes, please. Hey, what the heck? That is not a square like I indicated. Oh well. Didn't I indicate a square? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to have, we'll have a to look, look at that in editing. We'll have to look at that, but. So, Marty, how would you say where would this where would you place this putt putt in terms of the other ones? What do you mean by like place? Like uh how much do you like it in comparison to the other oh, putt putts? Um I like it. I didn't like kind of in the middle? It's kinda of near the middle, yeah. I didn't beat it until what the like heck? last There's year. There's a skeleton that started uh, uh. But this is one of the mm. games that was really hard for me as a it's kid. It's not that hard. It is fun. It is it very is fun. fun. It's not my favorite one. But I like it more Bear, than some. Thank goodness! Jeez Louise! <sighs> Finally. Alright. Don't cause Artie any more troubles, game. <laughs> yeah, please. I I've lost some sanity over this. Dude, I kinda want you to move these rocks. He's he's like Ord from Dragon Tales meets Goofy. Yeah, kinda. I see what I see what you're saying. He's got Dragon Tales. That was a good show. I meant move that rock, dude. Thank you. Move that. Move that. Move this. Move that. Move that. And then move that. There. There we that go. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> That stupid calculator! <laughs> You've caused me no end of grief. <laughs> now all I have to do is get my 
lunchbox so Mr. Firebird can close the Just the, the lunchbox. That stupid prospector is hogging it. In the original, did Puppet have eyebrows? Um, yeah. He did? I'm not sure if they were black, but he definitely okay. had them. Okay. Hello, so I, I just noticed that. I was like, what are those things hovering about? Uh, uh, yes. It's Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great machine. He just needs the half moon glasses. Uh, it turns simple but which Dumbledore? Gold. Huh? But which Dumbledore is he? He's not wearing purple or red robes, so it would be the one from three through seven. But he has the temperament of Dumbledore one and two. Yeah. He's not like, Harry, did you put your name in the back of the <laughs> Wait, hang on, I didn't hear that. Which stone did he say he needed? Um, I don't know, I don't remember. Great. Sorry. Can you ask him again? You will be successful in your journey, Putt Putt. Thanks for saying so. I hope you're right. I want the gold. I want the gold! Where the gold? Make me some gold. I do hope you find the stones soon, Putt Putt. Which color? Most important for the entire kingdom. I'll do my best. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was not your fault. Okay, um, well, trial and error, I guess. Here we go. Let's figure out which one we need. Ooh, I have a cunning idea. Okay. All aboard for the Through the rock, rock mine! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you enjoy making old Toby go that far? Alright. Pink marble. White quartz. That's the kind of Oh. Nice. It only lets you pick up one kind. Excellent. Sweet. White quartz, here we come. Dear. It's the awesome medieval song. There. Alright. Make I had to travel through time and space to get these for you, but I could did it. Uh. All right. Run, rat, run. You better. We need this. We traveled across time. Come on, come this. on. Bar of gold. Bar of gold. Yay! This is for me, Putt Putt, not you. <laughs> that would be so annoying. Merlin's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Here, Putt Putt, is your very own piece of gold. Use it wisely. I like the. the I, I like. Think I like all the, the chewy fruit and wagging wheels I could buy with that. <laughs> <laughs> you just grab the entire tub. You're like, I'm gonna eat them all. I'm buying this general store. Thank you very much. All right. I mean, Putt Putt will be set for life if he did that. No need to go to school. All right. Hey, dude, I'll give you this if you give me the lunchbox that's kind of worthless. Papa, you can just buy a new lunchbox with that. <laughs> but it has Smokey some. on it. There were over 200,000 made in your time. Smokey's popular. Man, he is a popular guy. <laughs> but it's like, but it's his. You could knock me down with a buzzer feather. <laughs> His eyes. That's gonna be my thumbnail. Never mind. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm too lazy to pick it up for you. <laughs> he can order. <laughs> you come back to prospectors and buy some penny for more gold. So putt putt don't tell me you gave me all the white quartz in the rock mine. <laughs> Like I got everything I needed to get. Come and on, hey, you even got your five cents back from Mr. Firebird stealing yours from you. Yeah. Puppet does not seem to understand Mr. Firebird totally has it in for him. I yeah, well he is a kid. <laughs> Aw, it covers his eyes. Check what? I here's my history report. 
Now let me tell you what I learned. So you see my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox? I paid a whole bar of solid 24 karat gold for it. They're like, wow, that was a terrible deal, Pot Pot. Well, seriously. You think of all the car comics you could have bought. Pot Pot, Freddy Fish. Meanwhile, Pot Pot also caught. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm Oh, man. Sam. <laughs> so many references. <laughs> Gorge. Oh, it's like, so I met a horse, and he's been singing on every station of the radio. <laughs> it's like, I better take notes about this. This sounds really interesting. I can't believe Pumpa that- traveled okay. through time, apparently. <laughs> okay, um, I cannot believe that the teacher's just letting Putt-Putt shoot his mouth off. <laughs> like, Putt-Putt's like, let me tell you about the time I traveled through time. It's like, okay, Putt-Putt, I think you need to see the school nurse for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Putt-Putt has got to be in elementary school still. Okay. And yet he's traveling through time, going to the moon, joining parades, saving zoos, all that stuff. <laughs> and I don't e we don't even know about his parents, so his yeah. parents would be proud. Well, ah! he lives on his own, so we know this. <laughs> <laughs> that is a duh. Sam witch. <laughs> it's sandwich. We get it, dude. <laughs> Inside is one very happy flamingo. Mm -hmm. It was a frog! Oh, I hope I can play Magic School Bus Solar System someday. <gasps> oh, <laughs> on Box, that okay. would be amazing! <laughs> Alright, well, that's the second path for Papa Travels Through Time. I'm Colorful Artie. And I'm Marty. And we'll see you for the next path. <laughs> Have a great day and God bless.